two of them. Um, Bruce, if you want to start us off. All right. First of all, John, two goals. Congratulations. Coach, it reminds me of uh, when Lars let the long poles get involved with the offense. Uh, I don't know if that just happened or whatever, but I, John can get that. But I got to ask you, we talk, we've talked about it now for like four weeks, and I got the feeling today that, you know, all the stats were even. It just didn't seem like we played that well as we, as we have, and yet the final score – the Turks win by eight goals. What disappointed you today and what were you happy about? Um, I mean, I love our guys. I really love this team. Um, and, and I think, you know, anybody who's a mentor, coach or parent, right. You have high expectations for your guys and, you know, be the best is be the best. Um, and, and with you, uh, I'm very grateful to work with these guys. I'm very grateful that we won today. Um, yet, you realize like, you know, there are things that I think we could have done a lot better today. Uh, that, that does not, I want that to get mistaken with their effort was terrific. Uh, I'll never question the effort. These guys, they played hard. Uh, I just didn't feel like at times we played as smart as we could. Um, and, and the reason I say that is we just have a lot of veteran guys. Um, and at times today we just got a little sloppy um, and road, road games are tough. Uh, there's always a, a different vibe. Um, and it's not easy for the guys, um, but I just felt like, you know, we were just sloppy at times. We did some things that kind of were head scratchers. I mean, we failed five clears. Um, I mean, to clear it 60 some odd percent and they didn't even pressure ride us. Um, so, um, you know, that's disappointing. A lot of penalties that was disappointing, uh, you know, and, and some of those penalties and failed clears led directly to goals. Um, but again, not a question of their heart and their effort. I just think some of our decision-making execution just needs to be better. Um, I, I'm confident it will be. Um, you know, obviously we know what's coming up on Sunday. So uh, a lot that we can work on this week. But, um, you know, again, still love the guys, no doubt in, in what we can be. But I think they would agree with you. Um, you know, we played better. Real quick, uh, one more for you. What in the world was wrong with Conry today? What was he screaming about? I mean, you could hear it on TV uh, about a moving pick or something. I, I don't understand it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, you know, there were some calls, I, I think, um, that happened. And um, obviously, you know, over the course of the game, you know, everybody's fired up and everybody um, is into the game and, and there's a lot of emotion involved. So, um, I'm not sure what particular play he was, he was talking about or if he was a certain official or something like that. So um, with stuff like that, I just focus on my guys and, and what's going on with them and just make sure that we're doing the best that we can. Um, I could hear it, but I just wasn't really sure what it pertained to. I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Four Gates. We make your company work. I'm Arthur Smith with Viner Four Gates. Two-factor authentication is a must-have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back. Uh, Coach, I was just wondering, you know, kind of talked about uh, a lot of things you wanted to work on uh, during this week, but after those first two Big Ten road games, kind of coming back home for these next two, what are the biggest takeaways and what are the biggest things to work on? ahead of next week against Rutgers? Yeah, I just think, um, you know, we got to get back to some fundamental stuff, um, you know, just getting back to some of the things that we do, uh, some basic stuff. And, and with a longer week, I think that'll allow us to do it. Um, you know, you're, you're looking ahead, obviously, to some of the teams we're going to play. So we're going to have to work on transition defense, uh, going from offense to defense and some of the sub stuff and things of that nature, um, you know, and, and obviously make sure that we're buttoned up on some things. Um, and then just kind of, you know, go back to just reminding our guys, listen, it, the effort is, is appreciated and valued, but, um, you know, we want to be smart, disciplined, and play with a lot of heart. And, and again, the heart was excellent today. The effort was excellent today. I just felt like at times we, you know, maybe could have, we didn't necessarily make the best decision. Um, but there were times too when, um, you know, and John was a prime example, like some of our early offensive stuff was terrific. Some of the sub game stops, some of the stuff off the face offs. I mean, his first two were terrific. Um, we had some other ones where we got, um, you know, quick uh, opportunities. And I thought the guys executed at a high level. So, again, there's, 
you're, you're never as happy as, as, as maybe you should be when you win. You're never as uh, upset when you lose. There's, there's always somewhere in the middle. So for us, be the best and, and trying to just, you know, keep being the best version of ourselves. Um, you're going to scrutinize a lot, but uh, you also, I, I think we do have great appreciation for what the guys are investing here. And, and that's never lost on us. John, um, you played a great game today. Uh, normally, you kind of see that like the long pulls kind of get overshadowed sometimes, and at least what people talk about and you know media, et cetera. But you obviously multi goal game. Ajax made that that great stop um, on that open net. Um, just how cool is it for you guys, just as a group, to kind of make highlight plays and actually maybe get the attention that you guys deserve? Um, honestly, I don't think we're a group that necessarily prides ourselves on that. And I think that says a lot about the character of the people that are playing down there. We appreciate the little things more, like coming away from today. We thought, I think we played really good six on six, but the little things like clearing and that we need to clean up. But yeah, of course, when juice plays like that happen, we definitely take the take that moment and really get excited about it. And the bench fire to something more than anything. So that's what it really is about on our end. Yeah. Um, yeah, I also wanted to um to ask you about um you know just how things sort of got chippy at the end. The coaches were uh, a little upset. Um, and it sounded like some of the fans or the the um, you know, like the parents were were getting were yelling too. Um, as a as a player, uh, does that impact you at all? Um, when you're when you're playing? No, I mean, coach always preaches to us that like the game's all that really matters when you're out there and. We play in front of so many people back at Maryland Stadium. We have great fans, and they're pretty wild in themselves. So you're kind of just numb to it at this point. I mean, experience like Audi Field a few weeks ago, that helps a lot too. So you just got to weather the storm and stay focused and not let the surrounding things affect you because that's the way you're going to be able to be your best. Let's do one more before we get some food and shower and head out. Uh, yeah, Coach, I was just wondering, you know, you kind of touched on the offense earlier. Uh, this is your fifth 20 goal game of the season. Uh, and especially today, it just seems like you guys scored in so many different ways. Uh, how do you think the offense played today? Um, I, I thought, you know, to John's point and some of the, the settled six on six stuff, I thought offensively and defensively, we did a good job. I really do. I, I think in some of the specialty stuff and, and again, I thought Rowlett did a good job for them coming in um, and time in the whistle. Um, and, and, and we have a lot of respect for him. Obviously did a great job last year. Um, you know, I think, you know, in those spots, we did a good job. I thought Logan um, maybe didn't have 20 saves, but I thought most of the saves that Logan made were, were pretty darn good. Um, you know, obviously tough spot to put Drew Morrison. You know, you're, you're throwing a man and all of a sudden we're down to two men. Um, but I, I think some of the, the special team stuff we've got to be better at. You know, we, we weren't great on the man up today, um, you know, especially when we we're just one man up. Um, and then a man down, you know, I think our guys are prideful enough to feel like maybe – you know, they could have maybe stopped a couple of those. So, but the six on six, again, an unselfish group, um, a group with good skill, they keep their head up. Um, and again, just to have really two lines that can help us. And then, you know, the ability for, for Murph to play a couple of positions and Eric Malver to play a couple of positions uh, just gives us a ton of flexibility and uh, the selflessness of this team, especially that offense. And, and you hear John talking about like the attention and stuff like that. That's what makes this group so much fun to be around. It's always about everybody else and never about themselves.